Well, I, I realized that I thought she was immortal somehow. Um, I guess I think I am too, you know, and we're, we're only a year apart and we'd known each other a long time. So I haven't fully absorbed it yet, but I, I do believe that she has made such a difference in our feeling of connection to the court and connection to the constitution. She has so raised our standards beyond anything where they were before. I mean, she was only the second woman, for instance. And when someone went at, once asked her how many women could be on the court, she said nine. <laughs> After all, there've been nine guys for a long time. You know, she just always was miraculously ahead of us. And if we can keep her in our minds as ahead of us in that way and keep asking ourselves, what would Ruth do? What would Ruth say? Then she will be with us. And we knew each other and she was my teacher in so, so many ways. Uh, but literally, whether or not I had known her, I think she would have been in any case, the first time I felt the Constitution was written for me, it wasn't written for me. You know, it, it left out most <laughs> most folks actually when it was written, <laughs> and she brought me into it in a real felt way uh, with pregnancy discrimination, all kinds of uh, sexual assault, body issues that had not been there before. Uh, she you know, she, she literally made me feel as if I had access to the law because Ruth was there. And I hope we hang on to that uh, because that's a gift that we must, must, must continue. And we must make sure that she's replaced with someone who continues that gift, which means we can't let the virus in the White House <laughs> nominate her successor, but we must wait until after the election, which it only takes four US senators to do. And I believe that 